Hey guys, my name is Aizigo here, back with another video. Today's also going to be a different video. I'm going to do a Costas Manolas player review. I actually searched FIFA 18 on uh, on YouTube about Costas Manolas uh, player reviews because I already had it in my team and I realized that there was none. And I wondered why because he's actually been pretty good for me. And uh, you will see in some gameplay. Anyway, these are my steps. 80 pace, uh, 86 defending and 83 physical. I got him 14,000. 750 and scored two goals as you probably saw uh high defensive work rate as well and i think right now he's more expensive just because of the sbc's but after a while he should drop and uh these are his sets right now you can probably see and we just get on to some gameplay so firstly this is the first match um gonna dribble and then costas monolas is gonna get a tackle in pretty simple and then we're gonna go on the counter attack uh true ball to human son true ball to gabriel he's loose and true ball again, a little, a, a few one, uh, one twos, a bit of tiki taka. We got pretty lucky, uh, twice. Went back to Hyung Min San and uh, rebounded back to Hyung Min San to get the first goal. And then after that, right now, uh, he's gonna be right in front of the goal, but Costa Manola is right on the breakdown and he's gonna get the block. So, uh, I think a pro for Costa Manola is definitely. His uh, blocking and interceptions, basically his whole position. Anyway, there's going to be a goal there. I think it was kind of my mistake. I'm not really sure uh, how it happened. Um, obviously, I'm not that good at the game, but it did happen. And a uh, keeper should have done better, probably. And those are his stats. Um, pretty good. Or uh, defensively, with those tackling and also pretty good passing. I also seem to uh, know that his passing was actually pretty decent, as you saw just now. Now we just see clearance. And he also managed to up muscle. And now this one, um, his physicality, physicality is definitely one thing. Well, maybe not physicality, just his strength overall. Obviously, I think um, like most of the time, defenders should, if they are good defenders, should be good in strength and tackling. So I guess I won't put that um, as a pro because most good defenders should have that. But a con for him, definitely, if you're having a... Um, if you like your defenders, you know, to make runs, run up the pitch, it's definitely not Costa Smolulas because his turning is pretty damn slow and uh, he also, his shooting is also 19, um, which definitely will not be good for you. Anyway, we got a little bit of gameplay, I mean, a bit of a build up play. Managed to get pretty lucky that I don't actually know what happened. Uh, it rebounded somewhere and keeper just went the wrong way and now we're 2 1 up. And then. Uh, the more physicality from Manolas and it's pretty good long passing. As you can see, his passing is actually pretty good. So I'll put that as a pro too. Uh, pretty good uh, muscling and a lot of strength. And then we're going to get another chance. Um, we're just going to fail and then we're just going to take a shot. And it's going to be a corner for us. I just put that in the gameplay. And then another another clip. He's going to try and cut out passing lanes. I used him purposely uh, to try and cut out passing lanes. And then I started seeing him. I tried to outmuscle him, but didn't uh, didn't work. And I saw his player making a run, so I tried uh using him and getting the inter interception. However, he is gonna go on a, a counter attack after losing the the ball, and he is gonna score. So I think that was my part as well. Obviously, I am not the best player, so maybe you guys could definitely do better. <coughs> um, if I'm not too good, uh, on defense, attack I'm average, but defense I'm not really that good. And with Costas Manolas is, uh, and this defensive Juan Jesus, Costas Manolas, uh, Mikhail Mikado and uh, Holobas, which is a pretty good defense. Anyway, uh, so far my pros that I have learned from Costas Manolas from using him is his pace. Um, later in the clips you will see him catching up some players. His physicality or his strength. Uh, tackling I won't put it because you know every every defender is supposed to tackle, and also. Uh, his passing and then his con is maybe if you like to use your attackers to get out the pitch you know it's not his uh, dribbling his agility is a bit slow obviously that's not his main aim but if you like to use your defenders for that uh, i wouldn't use crosses for the last anyway getting on to the next game i actually played someone really good uh, right there and i managed to intercept the ball uh, using Costas Monolas. The most success I found with Costas Monolas is actually controlling him by yourself and actually um, just trying to cut passing lanes. Anyway, really good goal by him. As I told you, this guy is really good. Uh, once again, I, I'm just showing my bad class, over committing too many players and that caused me to go. So I think many of you uh, who want these uh, players up should be better than me. Anyway, 
um, as you can see, Cosmos Monos did catch up with Lukaku. Lukaku, sorry, I did but <laughs> uh, Lukaku is faster than Costas Monolas, I think, and I used the double man pressure and uh, managed to tackle the ball off him. Anyway, he, he has two corners right now, and Game Bear has the ball, he's gonna pass it back to per, uh, Adam Nalana, and then Lukaku, with his strength, is gonna uh, score that goal. I think Juan Jesus was the was the culprit for not really showing uh, much strength for against Lukaku, or well, not really like culprit. Um, but didn't do that well. Anyway, uh, as you see, Costas Monolas was able to catch up with Gabriel Jesus with 87 pace, even though Costas Monolas does only have 80 pace, because it was quite a short distance. Anyway, there's another interception. Uh, Costas Monolas' positioning is really, really, really good. Uh, gonna get another interception right there. I think in the, I think just now I forgot to say that one of his pros was an interception, and that's really one of the main reasons why I read that this card. Anyway, his heading is also pretty decent. He actually scored two goals uh, from headers, and he made, pretty much created that one. Uh, got the header to rebound off the human son to score uh, my first goal this game. And now his passing is pretty decent. As you saw he managed to um try manage to get the ball out of, of not really out of the half. And uh, we're gonna try and get another goal here. I mean not uh gonna try and prevent another goal. However. He's just too good, and uh, I think I'll overcome it on my players too much right there. And um, we're gonna do pretty well, of course, as we know last day as well. And uh, overall, I'm just an, I'm not a good of a player, and some of you should be able to do better with, uh, should be able to do better overall. And I started doing skilling for a while, just for fun, you know. And I actually lost the ball here, but Costas Monolas actually was able to recover, and I just uh, hacked it clear, um, and managed to save my lines. Anyway, uh, these are the stats after the game. Uh, two tackles won, uh, two, uh, four dribbles, and eight out of ten passes, which is pretty decent. I think I forgot to say the stats from the previous game. Uh, if I didn't, then you guys probably saw it and you could have paused the video. Anyway, out of ten, I would rate this guy 9.5, and that 0.5 just because of his turning. Uh, and his, uh, yeah, basically just his turning. So, it doesn't really matter. This guy is one you should definitely pick up. And uh, I think my defense will be a pretty good defense that you could try out. Especially if you are a better uh, player than me. And you can probably tell that I'm not that good at this game. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy uh, this player review video. Obviously, those some of these clips were like, you know, kind of short. Uh, maybe I didn't explain it fully or what I thought about. My pros for him is his positioning his pace and his strength and uh, passing. Although his cons is his turning um, and trying to get away from his attackers or at least trying to get into some space to pass the ball out. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe. You can uh, also follow me in my training to uh, Profiting to Glory series. And, you have, and if you have any um, inquiries to what you should invest in or snipe with, then please let me know in the comments down below. And I will try to help you. Anyway, that's all for today. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.